Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's sound design series, we are going to make a huge bass sound to complete the huge lead that we see in the previous episode. So it sounds like this. So you can hear a very organic, groovy bass that can fit in your melodic techno and deep house track very well, also in the verse, but also in the drop. So let's always let's go to our vital init patch that sound like this. We are going to use all the three oscillators for this preset. So let's start with the first one. Let's go to our basic shape and select our triangle that will be very similar to a sine wave, uh, but with a little bit of uh, overtone. So we can use it, this to uh, act as a fifth in the, as, a, as a chord. So let's select a seven semitone up. So it will be a perfect fifth with the, our uh, bass note. Maybe let's decrease the level. And we are going to use the unison at four voice with just a little bit of the tuning. Something sound very drum and bass. Now let's activate our second oscillator. We are going to use a harmonic series that will be uh, something like a FM sound. And uh, put this down an octave, so minus. 12 semitone, and let's play with the posi wave position. Now it sounds good. And finally, our uh, to add a little bit more body to this bass, let's use a saw wave, so basic shape, select our saw wave with uh, some the unison three so one voice will be in the center now we can go to our filter tab and we are going to use a leather 24 db type that would be the classic moog filter maybe let's reduce our resonance Let's route all the oscillator to the filter and let's increase a lot the drive. You can hear it's very warm filter. And now we can use our envelope to modulate our cutoff frequency to make it a little bit longer. So let's maybe reduce the sustain a little bit and increase our release. Also very important for the bass, don't forget to put the number of voice to one. And we can use our LFO, maybe let's increase a little bit the frequency, to also control the cutoff frequency to just give to the, to the filter a little bit of movement. So you can hear the filter continue moving on the sustained note. And now, finally, let's go to our effect tab. And uh, very important for this sound is the distortion, of course. And let's increase our drive. You can use uh, all the type that you want. Maybe for different song, you can choose the type that fit better. And finally, but not least, the chorus. Just a little touch. And maybe reduce the number of voice to four. To not be so stereo. So you can hear the chorus works very, very good with this type of bass. 
And now do you have it? All right, so thank you again for watching. Remember, you can get this free preset in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue to watch this type of video. Suggest the sound you want to see next in the comment below. And thank you again. See you later.